skies and raindrops must be May in Lake Tahoe. Greetings and welcome to the Lake Tahoe Update. Well, despite some rather wet and cool weather, Memorial Day weekend was a perfect start to summer fun. Opening day at the lake was a big deal on the West Shore as festivities began on Friday night with a night at the museum. Contributors and supporters came out for a special preview of the recently completed Tahoe Maritime Museum. It's going to be a cultural fixture, real cultural asset to the Lake Tahoe Basin. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, you know, we, we're, we're a small museum in size, but we have grand visions. We have a world-class collection. This is going to be a must-see place for anyone who comes to Tahoe. We put a big emphasis on activities for children. We've allocated a significant part of our space here. We have drop-in programs where families can bring their kids uh, and their grandchildren, and there's fun, exciting things for kids to do that they, it's hands-on, they, and they really enjoy doing that kind of stuff. The new museum boasts an unsurpassed display of maritime artifacts, including vessels with significant ties to Lake Tahoe, racing trophies, displays dedicated to classic Garwoods and Chris Crafts, as well as miniature toy engines and eye-catching photos. The museum officially opened to the public on Saturday with a grand ribbon cutting ceremony and a variety of fun events and activities. Also on Friday night, at the tip of the North Shore, the Crystal Bay Casino unveiled the brand new Bistro Elise, an eco-friendly organic bistro located adjacent to the Crystal Bay's Crown Room. Guests at the opening night event were treated to a special free performance by Trombone Shorty. Being from New Orleans, you know, we have a musical gumbo there. We have jazz, traditional jazz, bebop, funk with the Neville Brothers. We have hip hop with cash money and no limit. Well, I started playing when I was four. I started playing professionally when I was seven with my brother James Andrews band, the all-star brass band. And uh, we traveled around the world and I played as his side, man. I just finished the tour with Lenny Kravitz and that was like two years. I've been playing for a while. Bistro Elise is currently open from 6 a.m. to midnight and will run 24-7 by midsummer. Opening weekend on the lake included a variety of special events. California Chris Craft down on the West Shore unveiled the world's first hybrid recreational boat. The first production hybrid boat of its kind, the Austrian-made Frauscher is an environmentally friendly luxury craft. If you look at where the pollution is on most waterways, it's in the harbors. With this power system, you have actually zero combustion in slow speed. So when you're going slow, you, you're not going to put any pollution into the harbors. Plus, it's zero noise to disturb your neighbors too, so it's good for all of us around the harbor. Marking a new chapter in pleasure boating, the Frauscher combines emissions-free and noiseless electric propulsion tied to a smooth-running diesel for exceptional performance. We're doing over 40 miles an hour out here on the lake and um, it accelerates just fine because the, the generator, which is a flywheel, actually turns into boost power when you're accelerating. California Chris Craft, located in Homewood, is the world's largest dealer of Chris Craft boats and the exclusive dealer of the new Frauscher Hybrid. That's it for the current edition of the Lake Tahoe Update. Thanks for watching. I'm Eric T. We'll see you out there.